Hey guys, how's it going? All right, we are going to use Mermaid Lagoon for this project. And um, this project <laughs> is inspired by a big blue water drop that is sitting in my office. Um, <laughs> we, you guys know, I think I told you on here anyway, that um, I was doing like a teen cuisine kind of class. Like um, I had someone come in, uh, like an organization that does this class. And, um, they teach the kids how to cook in healthy ways. So, um, that's been really fun. And, but this lady also has a couple other little programs that she, um, is required to do, but enjoys doing, I'm sure. Um, and one of them is Water Week. And so she wants to come to the school, uh, this coming week and every day, like at lunchtime, well, there'll be like morning announcements and, um, then every day at lunchtime, they get to try different waters and things like that. Like there might be, um, pineapple orange or, um, I don't know, cucumber melon or just whatever, different things in different types of, oh, well, same kind of water, but you know, different fruits or different whatever to flavor it and just kind of encourages them to, um, drink, uh, less soda pop basically and be healthier for that week. So, um, there's, she has this really, really big, um, outfit and it's like the mascot for the week and his name is Quench and he is a big water drop because he quenches your thirst, you know, and, um, so it's so big that she didn't really want to drag it back and forth and whatever. So she asked me, could I just keep that for her? And of course I should, sure. And, uh, so he is living in my room and I've had to like, move my chair and everything over and he is huge so um one of my kids will be wearing those one of my eighth graders they are the water ambassadors and um so anyway all right so that's all inked up so now we're moving on to this little simon says die um i know you can't hardly see on that but here i can put this envelope down maybe you can see better when i do that okay um so anyway uh, let's see, we can alternate purple, 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 I don't know, I don't know, purple, and then a purple, and then a purple maybe, let's do that, alright, so purple, and a purple, purple, I'm not sure, that might be a little bit dark, I want a darker version there. Yeah, it's not really not exactly what I planned. It'll be okay, I think. Um, maybe maybe the darker marks, if I would have done them <laughs> a little more delicately. Um, I'll just keep coloring over them. And sometimes Copics will just blend and it'll be okay. Uh, we'll give them a bit of dimension somehow. So I'm going to try that again, but I'm going to try it with the lighter yellows. Um, not yellow, orange, I mean. Yeah, orange. Okay, so we're going to have a big splash of orange. Big splash of orange there. Anyway, um, so looking forward to water week. And um, I love trying flavored waters, so that's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, Quench has inspired this card. And he is living as a big blue blob in my room right now. And every child that comes in there is like grabs him and wants to put him on. And you know, what are you going to do? So Quinch is living a little bit of a hard life right now. But <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to be neater and just trace these little lines that are already like pre, pre embossed or whatever you call that for you. I don't know. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try to blend that out just to brighten it up with a little bit of yellow. I might have to go with a darker green. Because really the stem part, stem part should be more green. So I think I'll go over that green at the end maybe. Anyway. Um, gosh. <laughs> Maybe the rain inspired this water card. Um, it's raining outside right now. It's pouring. I hear it. It's at least it's not thundering and lightning though. So I hate that. 
The dogs get freaked out over that, you know, so. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll just do the top part, because I imagine if I had little galoshes or whatever these boots are called, um, mine would be very festive and probably pink. So, I don't know. Well, you know what, let's just, let's just color all that pink. Because I already, I cut some tags out, and it's almost this color. I have a couple colors pink, because I wasn't quite sure what I was going with, but, um, it'll be okay. We'll just color it all pink. You might want to do the bottoms of the shoes a little bit different, maybe. Eh, let's just make them pink, too. Alright. That's pinkalicious. Alright, anyway. Let's go back over this. I don't know. That's not really bothering me too bad up there, that it's not really green. I feel like those could be a little more pronounced, but I think it's, it's not horrible, so... Um, I do have this gray. That's what I was going to do the bottom of the shoes with. So maybe it'll give like a little bit of a... Yeah, it is. Cool. It's given just a little bit of a... I don't know. A little bit of dimension or something to it. So let's try to trace this line. Or this little embossed whatever. And so maybe that'll... I don't know if... Ugh, I hate to do it up there because it's going to look bad. I don't know. Okay, so now we're just going to put that on there. I think. I don't think I'm going to pop it up. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Hmm. So what have you guys been watching on TV lately? They just changed their cable thing um, to um well, actually, they, they made us get, like, little cable box things, and um, I'm thinking about just quitting cable anyway, and just going to, um, like, Amazon Fire or something, and then I thought about going to Satellite, and I don't know, but now, what I didn't know was that they were going to put the LMN channel, the Lifetime Movie Network, you guys know I love Lifetime in general, um, so we have the regular channel, but then... I didn't know we were going to get the Lifetime Movie Network. I don't know if it's like a thing that they're just like doing for a while. You know how some of them do that. Um, so if it goes away, then I'm probably going to do something else. Because it's already like 100 bucks a month. And then, um, ugh, it's getting all over me. A uh, little bit of a problem with the Distress Oxide ink is it is more of a pigment type ink almost. And it doesn't dry very fast. So I feel like this does need to be popped up, so we're going to have to pop that up. And of course that pop-up tape. Oh, by the way, look. <laughs> my little friend who complains about my puffy tape all the time and gives me grief over that. Um, she sent me, um, actually she sent me a really sweet package. Uh, it was a Mother's Day doggy package. And, um, but she sent me some, <laughs> some puffy tape. So that was sweet. Um, so I'm sure I'll be opening that soon because you guys know how I go through that. Alright, probably going to have to just cut those. I didn't think about the flowers. Uh, probably need them smaller. I don't know. Yep, I do. Probably need to cut those in half. Really should have thought that through. But it'll be okay. It'll be fine. That's what I always say. <laughs> if it's not, you can just start over. Just paper. It's not the end of the world. Although sometimes after you've colored a while or done something like intense, you can feel like it is. But this is not too bad. This is pretty quick. So this would not be one of those end of the world cards, I call them. All right. Now, before I take that off, 
I don't really know what this card's going to be, so I haven't laid out a stamp. Probably a get well card, or maybe just like a thinking of you. Um, I think I'm going to go with that one. Or I have these long ones, but like I said, I don't know what I need. You can fold those and have it be like a little banner. I'm sure you guys have all seen that. I like that too. So we could do that. But so something's going to go there. But I'm not going to stamp it today because I don't really need anything. And fuzz is sticking to my gluey hands. I always get glue all over me. Um, but anyway, probably, I don't know. It's probably going to be like just a thinking of you card or something probably to perk my mom, um, my boyfriend's fian uh, fiance's mom, perk her up a little bit. Hospice has now started coming in. Um, she's not doing very good. Although hospice now does not have to mean complete end of life. I feel like it's, um, I don't know. It's before that usually now. So although she, she is not doing well, but, um, it's not like boom, you know, they used to come in years ago and, um, it was just like, that was it, you know, your, your life was completely over and that's it. So, um, and you just pretty much had a very, very brief time. So I'm hoping that's not the case with her. I mean, I've seen them come in and, um, it be, you know, another year or two or something. So we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, so I'm adding some, uh, Wink Stella glitter to this. And I'm actually, I won't do it on camera because I'm probably going to go over the 15 minutes. But I'm just going to outline each little water drop there, I think. And um, just give that a hint of, <clears throat> should have done that before I put this on, but it'll be okay. Um, so basically my sentiment will be there and I'll be outlining. So, but, but that is basically my completed card. I can move that right now so if I run out of time bye and thanks for hanging with me all right can I get this in come on I can do it I can do it all right so then that will be that and that is our pretty little card today with some raindrops all right guys talk to you later bye